At, now we're going to move on to the Lakers. This is the second segment here. Coach Hurley, <laughs> UConn, great coach. Two years went back to back with the teams that he's had, and the Lakers now he's become the new official candidate. The new toy. The new, yeah. And <laughs> I, you know what? And this is my belief. I, I really do. Uh, and I'm just thinking that, okay, first of all, it's in Hurley's court to do whatever they want to do. I cannot see him leaving UConn. I don't, it's a different world in the NBA. And to sure. be a college coach who's never coached in the NBA, and yeah, coaching is coaching, but coaching high school versus junior college, coaching high school boys as opposed to doing high school girls, coaching college basketball, going into the NBA, and the way that these players now, and I'm, I'm not going to call them prima donnas because the players are special people in the NBA. It's different. If you're a yeller, you can't come up yeah, to the NBA can't. yelling. That ain't going to work. That's not how you coach. So and in saying that, that kind of lets me get him off the hook a little bit. Now, they're com- now the other thing that's enticing, they, I heard they're pulling the about four or five Brink oh, trucks yeah. up to the thing. Oh, they're, yeah. 12, they're bringing like, some yeah, money. I, I heard like $14 million a year. So that there million. is going to make him – That's that there is going to make him – it could be 14, 20, whatever it is. That there is going to make him even consider that. But when he break down the X's and O's and the pros and cons and you start looking at it, will my style of coaching translate in the NBA? And I don't think so. You know, in college, you can you can get in the young man's face because you yeah, and he does and all that. Yeah. Yeah. You can't get in LeBron's face. So no. <laughs> you might be able to, but you're going to lose them. Yeah. You know, you're going to lose yep. them like that. So I think I think. And the Lakers have probably made us a legitimate offer to this guy, and they're probably waiting to see what he's going to say. But their backup is J.J. Reddick. Uh, and if this here, if this, if this one fizzles out, the Lakers are going to go Reddick, and they're going to do it immediately. That's just my – I haven't talked to anybody over there, but I have No, you and Reddick have a past, you know. Oh, yeah. And yeah, you know, that's going to be if interesting. Becomes, listen, if he becomes a Lakers coach, <laughs> you'll be got a lot of love fan. coming from me. Yeah, of course. Got a lot of love. Yeah. But now, what I'm hearing, though, Dick, and I'll let you comment in a second. What yeah. I'm hearing is that they're willing to take the chance on him like the Lakers took the chance on Pat Riley. Uh, I've heard that, too. I hate that take. I hate that yeah. take. Pat Riley earned his way through that franchise. I mean, dude That's sat true. by Chick Hearn for how long? He was That's a role player on the championship so. team. I mean, he that is so unfair to even put, to, to, to Pat Riley, to put J.J. Reddick's name alongside his. I, I just don't, I don't see uh, that. Well, I don't like that. Tell you, the only reason they're doing it is because of looks. J.J.'s a nice looking oh, guy. Oh, J.J.'s a good looking guy. And yeah. he's well spoken. And he knows, he knows analytics. Like, let me tell you. I'm praying the Lakers hire and he him. Dresses so I, nice. He dresses very nice, which is a Pat Riley trait. But yeah. I'm praying the Lakers take him because then I don't have to fucking listen to him anymore. And I agree with <laughs> who, I agree with most of what he says. He's just so arrogant that I don't want to agree with him. He's so fucking <laughs> arrogant that I just don't want. It's like, please hire him. But. I, I hear what you're saying on Hurley, but there's something about it that that decision that makes me take the Lakers seriously again. The JJ Redick thing makes me feel like they're just trying to appease LeBron. And I, I know you think I'm not a LeBron fan. I am. But the dude has to inject himself into everything, like this whole Kyrie thing now that he's saying, I wish we were playing together now. Well, of course you do. He's in the fucking finals. Of course you wish you were playing with him. I mean, like, it's just so annoying to me that he's now making commentary on podcasts after every frigging game. It's like, LeBron, please just give us a break. Well, Nick, uh, social media has done that. The I only know. time you used to hear players comment is during the, the interview. The na- yeah, or, the, or national like broadcast. Now, yeah. They they can be sitting at home in their living room and make a comment, and you don't even have to see them. So that's our you know, world that we live in today. And you know what? Go ahead. You know who JJ reminds me of on the broadcast, not on the playing court because there's no comparison, but no one can destroy a broadcast while saying intelligent things like Rick Barry. And yeah. that's how I feel JJ Redick is. He says very smart things. He's a good analyst, but he's so fucking arrogant that I think majority of the fans tune him out almost immediately. Nick, 
This is what I'm gonna say, and then we're gonna move on to our number yep. three thing. Um, that's a very hot seat. The it's Lakers, a very hot the, seat. The, the Lakers <laughs> and Celtics. Yep. That first seat is probably one of the hottest seats you'll oh, ever yeah. sit in because it's not like going to Memphis. It's not like going to Milwaukee. Uh, uh, the, yeah, these right. other teams because over there is lukewarm in Milwaukee. <laughs> right. uh, Memphis is cold. They'll let you warm it up. They'll give you two. OKC. Okay, OKC. Okay, oh, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, well, OKC. Okay, you know what is is what is going to be one of the up and coming teams, but the but Pelicans still, it's not. Like that. It, it, it's not this yet. That is a that's a hot hot ass seat. Now, if you want to sit down over there, that's why if you if you notice a lot of Laker coaches, head coaches, never sit down. Yep, yep, Bogle yep. didn't sit down, and Ham didn't sit down a lot. Phil Jackson did. Yeah, because Phil Jackson had <laughs> he won. The <laughs> yes. But you ain't got that kind of power coming in. You got to see Phil Jackson came to Lakers after proving that he was a yep. winner. Mm -hmm. If you haven't won anything, and J.J. Reddick has never touched the NBA Finals, I don't think, or anything like that, that seat's going to be hot now. And people will put up with you because it's your first year, but they gonna only put up with you there. That's provided he gets the job. For about 50 games. They're going to give you 50 games to kind of like find out what you can do. But after that, it's going to be what can you do for us? And, mm -hmm. you know, I think his biggest problem, let's say J.J. Reddick does get the job. His biggest problem is going to be three things. Mm -hmm. One, well, he got one already kind of uh, already oh, done. Right in his relationship Built with in. LeBron. Yeah, that that relationship is already it's going. LeBron's going to give him a little lead, way may even yep. help him a little bit. Mm -hmm. The second and third problem is going to be how do I deal with AD? Mm -hmm. and AD is a special moment too, mm -hmm. not in the <laughs> sense of bad or anything, but mm -hmm. he's just a, he's a player, and you mm -hmm. can't lump him and LeBron together because mm -hmm. I tell you this, and I can tell by the way they play, AD has an idea how we should play as well as LeBron. Mm -hmm. And third and the most biggest problem is. If LeBron's son enters into the draft, mm. that's going to be the third biggest problem. I ain't think about the team he has to deal with or that, but the th do I do I? You're gonna have to draft that kid. You're gonna have to, and because he won't be there in 33, I think that's a, or 55, whatever the Lakers yeah. have 33 or 55, he won't be there then. So do you make him your number one pick at 17 if he enters? Well, he's in the draft and he's playing well. I say yes. But you have I, to. I would draft, yeah, I would. Yeah, the decision is it's really about LeBron at that point. Do you want LeBron or don't you? Because if you don't yeah. draft Bronny, LeBron's gone. Yeah. So so really at this point, and I, I agree, I heard Byron Scott say this on I think it was on ESPN. I agree with him, P. Scott. He said, you know, just screw it. Make LeBron the let the player coach at this point. Well, he will be. If they hire JJ Reddit, LeBron will be coaching the team. Playoff time, there is nothing like it. I mean the energy, the effort amps up a good 50 to 75% compared to the regular season. And that's why you want to go to game time, the authorized ticket marketplace of the NBA. Now, they make getting playoff tickets even faster and easier. And here's the deal with the game time app. The prices of those tickets go down the closer you get to tip off. They've got killer last minute deals, all in prices. And you can also get the view from your seats with the lowest price guaranteed. Game time takes the guesswork out of buying NBA tickets. So here's what you should do. You you download the Game Time app and you browse it. And you can see that you can get Celtics and Bruins playoff tickets for less than $150. And again, the closer to Game Time you get, the lower the ticket price is. These are terrific deals for big time postseason games. Last minute deals. Save up to 60% off buying last minute sports, concert, comedy, theater tickets. Uh, all in pricing. Toggling this feature shows that the total up front with no surprise fees at checkouts and also the lowest price guarantee or game time will credit you 110 percent of the difference your purchase is covered with the most flexible customer service policy in the ticket industry so take the gas work out of buying nba tickets at game time download the game time app create an account use the code clns for twenty dollars off your first purchase terms apply again create an account and redeem the code clns and get twenty dollars off download game time today last minute tickets lowest prices guaranteed